Good morning to one and all present here. In this video lecture series of manufacturing technology, we are going to discuss about oblique and orthogonal cutting. Before that, in the last lecture series, we had discussed about the cutting tools, cutting tool definition, and what are the various different types of tools which is used in the shaping machine, planning machine, etc. And also we had discussed about the tools which is used in the lathe, milling machines, grinding machine, etc. In this video lecture series, we will discuss about the orthogonal cutting and the oblique cutting during the machining process. What is the orthogonal and the oblique cutting? It is the type of cutting which is used in the single point cutting tool. The two basic methods of metal cutting using a single point cutting tool are orthogonal that means 2D cutting and the oblique cutting that means a 3D cutting. In orthogonal cutting, it takes place when the cutting phase of the tool is 90 degree to the line of action of the tool. If the cutting phase of the tool is 90 degree to the line of action of the tool, it is known as the orthogonal cutting. If the cutting phase is inclined at an angle less than 90 degree to the line of action of the tool, then this type of cutting action is known as an oblique cutting. Here, we'll, when we look at the diagram, this is the chip and this is the workpiece and this is the tool. It is perpendicular to that of the line of action of the tool. It is known as the orthogonal cutting. Whereas in, in the second diagram, the tool is inclined to that of the certain distance perpendicular to that of the in case of the workpiece. The, this type of cutting is known as an oblique cutting. The first diagram implies that of the example of an orthogonal cutting. This is, is an oblique cutting. In case of orthogonal cutting, the cutting edge of the tool remains normal that means 90 degree to the direction of tool feed or work feed as it is shown in the figure. Whereas in the case of oblique cutting, the cutting edge of the tool remains inclined at an acute angle to the direction of tool feed or work feed. And then in case of orthogonal cutting, the direction of the chip flow velocity is normal to the cutting edge of the tool. In case of oblique cutting, the direction of the chip flow velocity is at an angle with the normal to the cutting edge of the tool. It is also known as the chip flow angle. In the first slide, we had mentioned that the other name of orthogonal cutting is known as 2D cutting. It implies that here, in case of orthogonal cutting, only two components of forces are acting in the orthogonal cutting. That is cutting force and then this thrust force. So, the metal cutting may be considered as the two dimensional cutting whereas in the case of oblique cutting here three components of forces are acting in the workpiece and the tool it is cutting force first force is the cutting force next is the radial force and then it is the thrust force or feed force so the metal cutting may be considered as the three dimensional cutting action next we will discuss about some of the difference between oblique and orthogonal cutting in detail in case of orthogonal cutting, cutting angle remains normal to the direction of the work feed or velocity. Whereas in the case of oblique cutting, cutting edge remains inclined to an acute angle to the direction of the work feed. In case of orthogonal cutting, the direction of chip flow velocity is normal to the cutting edge. Whereas in the case of oblique cutting, direction of chip flow velocity is at an angle. Then here angle of inclination is 0 for orthogonal cutting whereas cutting feed inclined at an angle with the normal to the work feed in case of oblique cutting. Here in case of orthogonal cutting chip flow angle is 0 whereas in the case of oblique cutting three mutually perpendicular components of cutting forces acts at the cutting edge tool. Next, cutting edge is larger than width of the cut in case of the orthogonal cutting. Here, the cutting edge may or may not be longer than the width of the cut. The first diagram implies the example of the orthogonal cutting during the machining process. The second diagram implies the example of oblique cutting during the machining process. In the orthogonal cutting, the cutting edge of the tool is straight as it is shown in the figure and perpendicular to the direction of the motion as it is shown in the figure. Whereas in the case of oblique cutting, the cutting edge of the tool is set at an 
angle to the direction of the line of action. Thank you.